Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another review. This time around, I'm going to be doing a review for the 1985 movie Clue, and this movie stars Aileen Brennan, Tim Curry, Madeline Kahn, Christopher Lloyd, Michael McCain, Martin Mull, Leslie Ann Warren, Colleen Camp, and Lee Vin. So yeah, before I begin though, 10 second spoiler warning as usual for those who have yet to actually watch this movie and haven't already, stop the video, go check it out and come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 seconds as usual, starting now. <laughs> Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those who have yet to actually watch this movie and haven't already, please don't comment down below or be messaging me, don't ever give me fair warnings, as usual, I did. So as usual, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and then the rates. So basically, Clue, you have these group of people, Mr. Miss Peacock, Wadsworth, Mr. White, Mrs. White, Professor Plum, Miss Green, Colonel Mustard, Miss Scarlet, and a few other characters they made just for the movie, and all of a sudden, they realize that a few people are being murdered. The maid is being has been murdered. The cook has been murdered. This cop that came into the house has been murdered. This telegram girl has been murdered. So yeah, there's been people who are being killed off, and they're basically trying to understand like, you know, who is the killer, who done it, who did it. It's Clue. I mean, it's based on a board game. So yeah, it's like the original Who Done It. And very fast, quick story about this movie. When I first saw this. I was doing a, I was in a road trip. Basically, I was going back from Atlanta to Miami, which is where I live, Miami. But I was doing a, I was in a road trip, and as we're heading down, we're at this gas station, and I just see the Clue DVD on there, and I really wanted my mom to buy it, and so she was like, "No, I don't have enough money," even though it was like five bucks. I'm like, "Ah, fuck it, whatever." And I remember I put that on my Christmas list that year, and she got it for me for on Blu-ray. And the Clue movie is the first Blu-ray I ever got. Period. So, yeah, Clue holds a special place in my heart. So, yeah. Overall, I do really think, th think this is a great movie. Um, it's actually really good, in my opinion. So it's, you know, just some late 80s or m mid 80s. Came out in 85. So, it's just some mid 80s or just an 80s fun, cheesy horror movie or horror mystery crime movie. And it's, again, a whodunit. It's like one, one of the original whodunit movies. Clue is actually a really great movie. The acting is actually pretty good, although a bit cheesy at times. It is actually really good, in my opinion. It's actually pretty funny. It actually has some pretty good comedic timings. Then again, you do have Christopher Lloyd you know, Back to the Future and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, he's had some pretty iconic comedic moments, and here is no exception. And the one thing I really like about this movie is the fact that they had three different endings. And if you guys didn't know about this, basically back in 85, in order to kind of keep it similar to the board game, they had three different endings, and they would show it in different movie theaters. And even after that, in those movie theaters, they would show the different endings within each movie time. So let's say uh, at the 12 o'clock screening, you had the version 1 ending. At the 2 o'clock screening, you had the version 2 ending. And at the 4 o'clock screening, you had the version 3 screening. So it was always like that. So you always had three different endings. It's actually pretty cool. Not cool. And I kind of do like the explanation they have for each ending. The best one, though, is the one where it's like they're all guilty. Um, spoilers. There's three endings. One of them is Miss Peacock, I want to say, is guilty. The other one is Mrs. White is guilty. So, yeah. And then the last one is, like, everybody's guilty, basically, except for Tim Curry, because Tim Curry is always the good guy for some reason, unless, you know, he's playing the devil or chasing little kids in New York, but besides the point. Um, so, yeah. Overall, though, this is still a pretty good movie. It's a really cheesy movie. It's just one of those movies to kind of sit back, relax, and just see mayhem ensue. And I'm not gonna lie, like, the deaths, I mean, they're not gory, especially in the mid-80s, but they're kind of interesting the way they kind of play out. One traveler goes into the house, and he's like, hey, can I use your phone, because my motorcycle broke, whatever, and then he gets killed, he, like, gets choked, this one cop gets shot, um, and the telegram girl gets shot, the cook gets stabbed in the back, literally, so there are some pretty funny deaths in the way they play out, so, yeah, and the, the maid has to be the funniest one, she, she just gets choked out, and it's just really funny, in my opinion. So yeah, overall though, it's still a great movie in my opinion. Opinion in a scale of one to ten, one being the worst, ten being the best, and six being decent. I'll give it an eight. It's just a fun, laid back, cheesy movie. Just go check it out. And it's one of the few good movies based on board games. I mean, we've seen how those kind of turn out with a uh, battleship or even just toys in general. Transformers. I sure throw in video games because Mario movie. So yeah. Overall, though, still a pretty good movie. Do check it out. And, yeah, that's basically it for now. Subscribe, comment down below, like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Martz signing off.